I saw somebody on the Vectorworks forum looking at the Heliodon tool. That's this one here. And it's in the visualization tool set. The Heliodon does a great job of placing a sun. And it does place the sun relative to your location, which is really important. So let's grab the Heliodon tool. Let's look at our preferences. So here I've chosen my country, New Zealand. I can choose my city, Auckland. And you can choose any of the countries that are listed and any of the cities. Now, if your city isn't here, you can edit the city, change the name, and put in your own city. Now, I've already done one, which is here, and I've put in this one here, which is where the pub I went on the weekend. So you can put in your own cities if you want. Let's put that back to Auckland. So we've got the ability to choose our clock time. I like 24 hours. Uh, you can put 24, you can put 12 hours if you like and click OK. Now, before we get started, North is straight up the page for this particular project. Now, if North is straight up the page, you just double click to place your Heliodon. If North is not straight up the page, then click and rotate your Heliodon so that it points North. This will have a dramatic effect over the sunrise and sunset. So with this facing true North, we can then choose our month. We can choose solstice, equinox, and so on. So that's equinox at the moment. If we have a look and choose winter solstice, that's where the sun would be coming from. And if we choose summer solstice, that's where the sun will be coming from. So it gets up much earlier. Now, if we change our view to a 3D view, we'll be able to see the effect of the sun on our site for the different times of the day and the different days of the year. So here we are at 10, let's make that 10 o'clock in the morning. The sun's got up. Now this is December. Let's change this to winter. Winter solstice. You notice the shadows dramatically longer in here. So the idea of the solar study is that you can then make much better choices about the location of your building, the location of your plants, the location of your outdoor living areas, and so on. It's a great tool for doing your site analysis. So if you do want to export a solar animation, there's a button here to export it. I won't go through the settings, but I'll show you the results. So here's one that I created earlier. This is 10 o'clock in the morning. This is my summer sun. Let's have a look now at dragging that up and down. So you can see there's sunrise and there's sunset. Now I've also got uh, equinox. So if we have a look here, there's the 10 o'clock in the morning about the same time. Big shadow across this part of the garden. Let's go back to here. Let's go back to 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, yeah, 10 o'clock in the morning. The shadow's a lot less in this area here in the summer, and that's equinox. In the winter, that'll be dramatically worse. So it gives you a great way of looking at your site, making decisions about your site with some good knowledge about what's going to happen. Now, of course, I've got a site model, which means it's three-dimensional. I've also got massing models to represent the adjoining buildings. These are really important to make sure you get a good site analysis. Hey, I'm Jonathan Pickup. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a like. It really helps people to find my movies. I'm also going to make a much longer extended movie showing a lot more detail about the creation of the Heliodon, the cities, the solar studies, and so on. It's going to be available for my members on my YouTube channel and also for my members on my website.